In making 2001 A Space Odyssey, filmmaker Stanley Kubrick had an interesting challenge when thinking about the score. How can music help depict the arc of humanity from prehistoric hominids learning to use tools to the reveal of the horrors of technological advancement, all while immersing the viewer in a world that's absent of weight, devoid of time? Despite the studio expecting a new score, Kubrick found his inspiration in a composer recently making waves with music that had colors unlike any heard before. This new voice, George Ligeti, was exploring how fast music could be, with no perceivable beginnings or endings in his sound world. But who was Ligeti? Les cloches sont les mêmes. Écoute, les cloches sont les mêmes. Oh, C'est fou. He was born in 1923 in Transylvania to a Hungarian Jewish family. Ligeti was interested in pursuing a career in science, but with harsh restrictions imposed on the academic admissions process by the Nazi regime in Romania at the time, he ended up moving to Budapest to study music. In the 1940s, he was forced into a labor camp in Serbia, while the rest of his family was deported to concentration camps. Only his mother would survive. He fled Budapest during the 1956 Hungarian uprising, hiding under mailbags on a train until he arrived safely in Vienna. Everything he experienced made him into the artist he was, something that's revealed by his music. After experiencing several authoritarian political systems, he rejected any one school of musical training or thought, immersing himself in many kinds of music from around the world. He had an insatiable curiosity and desire to truly understand the musical traditions of various cultures. For example, he would integrate the complex rhythms found in the drumming of the Aka Pygmy tribe of Central Africa into works like his etudes as well as his piano concerto. While much of his early life was spent trying to make sense of tragedy, enduring the darkest side of humanity and searching for refuge and safety, one way he coped was with his sense of humor. At no point did he deny that death was inevitable, but a work like his opera, Le Grand Macabre, is an example of him almost looking death in the eye and laughing at it. <laughs> He also had works that were more directly humorous, like his nonsense madrigals with absurdist text, or Musica Regicata, which is a set of 11 solo piano pieces that all stem from one note, which Kubrick would use years later in his 1990 film, Eyes Wide Shut. For someone who embraced all of the sounds and events around him, it's no surprise that he also managed to inspire a number of creative thinkers from all backgrounds and disciplines, from filmmakers like Kubrick and Martin Scorsese, to musicians from Philip Glass to Radiohead. Although he passed away nearly 20 years ago, Ligeti's influence is as vibrant as ever, stirring the imagination of listeners all over the globe. <laughs> 